Hey guys, hopefully you're having a great evening. I, uh, I'm pretty excited. Um, I finally figured out how to use a, uh, this is a Amana router bit over here, which hopefully you can see me pointing at the router. But I have an Amana router bit that I purchased a, probably about a month or so ago. Um, and so let me actually explain back up a little bit. So for years now, I've been ripping pieces that are either an inch and a half, two inches, three inches uh, by, you name it, sometimes six feet long, um, sometimes 20 inches long. Um, but what happens is, is let's say for example, I ripped this wood piece right here. Just make believe that this is connected. And what happens is if this is a six, in, a six foot long board here and we have this knot right here and you put any type of stress, usually it'll snap. And so then that board is pretty much finished because what you needed is a six foot board and now it's like five, two, you know, which that sucks. So what, ha what happens for years, I've now, you know, I've been able to, of course, use the five foot two board for something, but, um, what I really needed was a six foot board and now I have the cutoff here that I, I've usually just scrapped this piece over there. So what I was trying to look through is uh, if there was a machine that would be able to, to be able to connect, you know, boards end to end easily, uh, that wouldn't cost a fortune to, to try and do, which like if you, for example, have ever seen Ikea's furniture, they, they do a finger joint, which a finger joint gives you a lot of surface area for glue. And it actually looks pretty nice to the eye. Once you smooth this over, either you sand it or uh, joint it, whatever you, whatever you want to do to make it nice. But once you have that connection there with a nice amount of glue, um, it actually looks really nice. I mean, you can of course see the seam, but that's okay. Um, but I, I was trying for years, trying to figure out how can I make my little little pieces of wood here connected with another piece and, and make it a solid joint. So, so for years I tried doing like a half lap. Um, I've tried doing dowels here. Um, the first thing that I had done is I, this is when I was new to woodwork, woodworking, is I would make it a butt joint and that is like super weak. It'll snap on you. Uh, you know pretty quick so anyway I bought that router bit about a month ago and today this evening I finally was like okay figure out dial it in and you can probably see here I was I was working on dialing in my uh, dialing in the bit to see how high I needed to put it so that whenever I put these joints together it uh, comes through really nice and smooth and um, the nice thing is I got it dialed in perfect to where it has, of course, a little bit of a ridge here, but one, one pass through the uh, drum sander and it's over with. But if you notice, the wood is straight. Um, it aligns really nice here. And uh, I'm going to have to make a video on YouTube on how I did this, but what I have, what I have back here in my video here, if you can see that large, long stick here, every... Um, Every tape area here uh, is symbolizes a joint. So this, the, from like right here halfway through, that way was a small piece of wood. From here, this way halfway through the tape was a piece of wood. Another piece here to here, and another piece there. So we got one, two, three, four pieces of small pieces of wood like this that were finger jointed on the ends, and now they're connected and it's super solid and um, I'm gonna just show you real quick I did some tr stress testing on this on these pieces like for example I have a, a sample piece here and uh, what I had done is this is about nine inches here uh, nine inches and some change and then this is um, ten and some change so it's a 20 inch board now which used, used to be I used to, I used to have to save these pieces and you know do a, a small jig or something that I could use it but now uh, you're gonna see it's not really straight here. This is just a test piece, but let me just show you how, how strong that glue connection is now. And using just an F clamp, 
and I weigh about 220 pounds, 218 actually, but um, if I put some stress on this, you see my table is actually bending my particle board. And if that was a butt joint or if it was a dowel joint, it would it would snap super easily. So I'm putting a lot of stress on that. Another thing is if I put stress on it this way, you'll notice it's super strong. And you can probably see the seam. And actually, let me turn it around so you can see maybe a little bit better on camera here. So now I have the joint right here hanging out. I'm going to put some weight on it. Actually, hold on. Back it up just here. There we go. So now, putting stress and I don't have it completely clamped down there, but still, if that was really weak right there, it would have already snapped. And I'm putting quite a bit of weight on there just to just to stress test. So pretty proud of it. I'm going to make a YouTube video on um, how I did it. Um, but one thing as a woodworker and I do a lot of mass milling on wood and I hate, you know, wasting wood. Um, so I'm not, you know, of course, if I have a small tiny piece like this, I probably won't keep it unless it's for, you know, some type of project that I'm working on. But just the idea that I can make the pieces a lot longer like for example here I don't have this taped up or, or uh, glued up but if I want to if you can see there's a joint there joint there and if I wanted to make this piece longer I'll just connect it here which this is one of my first test pieces which it's not flush here but uh, anyway you get the idea I'm really excited about this and uh, I've watched tons of machines that uh, that do this type of joint with like a large number of, of pieces of wood and those I mean those are probably in the hundreds of thousands for those machines so I, I have a small shop and uh, in the meantime I'd like to be able to keep things on a budget and I'm going to show you how I did it and uh, just be watching on that video here soon see you guys